I challenge you to compete in this simulated investing tournament to win some serious money. I hope you'll join us. I'll be coaching you every step of the way. Next one here, there's two parts to this one. Isn't the current trouble with high inflation mostly a supply issue? If so, shouldn't the response be a looser monetary policy that creates more supply? Or am I just thinking about this the wrong way? So I think that's there, there's some truth in that statement. Um, there's definitely a supply issue. Uh, you know, if we look outside the U.S. and we think about, like, for instance, you know, the elf in the room, which is uh, the energy dynamics in Europe, that's, you know, clearly uh, the issue, uh, really even much more so than uh, what's happening from a monetary standpoint. I think in the U.S. there's some of that, uh, which is going on. Uh, but I think the larger issue remains, you know, the monetary impulse uh, that was created by, you know, three trillion in uh, in balance sheet growth by the Federal Reserve over the period that, you know, spanned roughly the sort of 24 months uh, from the start of the pandemic until uh, fairly recently. And you know, if you look back through history, you know, the monetary component is generally the component that ultimately really matters. Um, you know, eventually, you know, you will sort of reachieve this supply chain equilibrium. Um, and then the Fed is obviously, the, so taking a step back, this is why it's kind of interesting because, you know, I, I was looking, uh, for instance, I was looking the other day at, um, if you look at the uh, growth in um, either the, uh, well, if you just look at growth in M2 uh, on a rolling seven month basis, uh, it's actually running negative right now. Um, and there's not many periods in history, like at least going back to 1980, uh, when that's been the case. I think there's been like three or four times ever uh, in the last 40, almost 45 years when that's been the case. And so, you know, like that dynamic and what I was sort of alluding to with all of this sort of quantitative framework, uh, you know, in, in the early look was obviously this read through to uh, money supply. And so, yeah, if you're, if you're thinking about uh, sort of where we've been and why we're now where we are from an inflation standpoint, you know, the primary impulse has been the monetary component. The supply chain component was definitely an overlay on top of all that for sure. Uh, but, you know, you, you printed money at the fastest rate ever, like in history. Uh, and so, you know, if, if, if you don't have the ability to sort of create a, a production response, um, you know, of equivalent size and magnitude, um, obviously you're gonna end up with just higher prices and that flows through on a considerable lag. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, the supply component you know, continues to remain an overlay um, on that front. So yeah, I, we think it's primarily monetary, but there is a supply component as well. And it's not consistent from country to country. Like, like I said, in Europe, it's a much larger supply chain uh, problem than it is here in the US. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.